Can I hear some energy? It's low energy and the noise. Thank you. So this is a night for bears and roommates. And I do not have any bears in my story. So here's what happened. When my husband went to prison, it was kind of like getting punched in the gut, partly because, oh my God, my husband's in prison. But it's also because I had all the bills and half the income. And I looked at my expenses and I looked at my income and guess which one was bigger. And I thought, well, if I get some roommates, I can make it. If I rent out some rooms in my house, I can just about have enough money to make it to the end of the month. So I put an ad in Craigslist and I was really scared. Like, like I thought it was gonna be like that scene in It's a Wonderful Life. Do you remember when he comes back and he's never lived and his mother is running a boarding house? Do you remember this scene? It's all dark and she answers the door and now vacancies. And I thought, that's my life. It's gonna be bad. And people answer the ad and it's like eight cats, no. You know, and you know, use a coaster, come on, it's teak, you know, it's just like, this is a, it's, it's not gonna work. But then this woman showed up and, oh, you know, like, great. Like, she had, like, a steady employment history and a social conscience and, and she liked John Stewart. I'm like, please move in, please move in. And she shows up with a life-size cardboard Johnny Depp. And I'm like, yes, this is so gonna work, you know? like. She's cool and she's in her 20s, so now she's teaching me all this stuff and I'm learning like new words like, like Roku and heteronormative and you know, like this is like so great. This is so great. But the third floor was a little more complicated because I was gonna rent two rooms and third floor, there already was, it was furnished. There was an Ikea bed up there. And, and so I rented to this woman, but she said she didn't want that bed. And she was gonna take it apart and use her own bed and then you know, when she moved out, I could put it back together. I'm like, sure. So she was there for like six months, and her student loans came due. She moved back with her mother. And, and so the next guy who came, he needed the bed. He wanted it furnished. I'm like, no problem. I can, I can build this, this bed. Now, I'm like, you don't know what's funny. Like, I'm not good at, like, stuff. You know, like, like physical. Like, uh, like, I can't even, like, really eat a grapefruit without, like, squirting myself in the eye. Like, I'm not, you know. And, and, and that's so why I drag all these pieces. And there's like little, there's like things. There's like, you know, bolts and screws, which apparently are not the same thing at, at all. And, <laughs> and I'm trying to build this bed. Now, he's going to move in Tuesday after Labor Day. That's the plan. And, and, and I'm like, okay, it's Saturday. You know, I can do this. Like, I can do this. You know? and, and I, I can't do this. You know, like, I, every time I put a piece in, you know, yeah, fit this stuff together and then it like falls and I'm like, just do it again. And it falls and, uh, and so Brianna, the good roommate, she's like, you don't have all the pieces. You know, you gotta go to Ikea, they'll give you replacements. I'm like, I don't wanna go to Ikea, I don't wanna go to Ikea. Have you been to Ikea? I mean, the place was designed by M.C. Escher. You're like, <laughs> you can wander around for days. You know? And I get to the counter, she goes, oh, we don't make that model anymore. And, and I'm like, you got Oh, no, like the guy already gave me a deposit. I already used it on the gas bill. PGW doesn't give you your money back. Have you ever called PGW? Okay, my, no, they, they don't. So, you know, I gotta build it. And so she ends up, she feels sorry. She was using like a handful of random hardware. There wasn't even a bag. Literally, I had to put it in my sock. Like, it's like, and I go back and it still, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm like, I am like freaking out. I'm not sleeping. I'm like, this guy's coming. I can't. Like, Kevin, he's gonna be sleeping on a pile of lumber. Like, this is just, this isn't gonna work. So I went to the dog park and, and I was talking to some people and like, kind of work got around like the lesbian dog park grapevine. And I get a phone call from this woman and she's like, I can build you the bed, you know? And I'm like, daddy, you know, you can't. It's like, I tried, you can. And she said, don't even worry. When's the guy moving in? Tuesday, she'll be there Monday. I'll build you the bed. I'm like. That doesn't give you a lot of window, you know, like margin for error. She's coming Monday, he's coming. Monday morning, she comes, doorbell rings, there she is with her two grandchildren and her Gorilla Glue and her boom box and she's like, where's this bed, you know? And we go up to the third floor and she's kind of looking at everything and she takes me aside, she's like, watch the kids, I gotta smoke a joint. Okay, <laughs> so I take the kids down and we're playing crazy eights, banana bugs, having a good time. And you know, a couple hours go by, we're hungry, I make lunch, 
I go, let's go give grandma some lunch. And we go upstairs, and there she is, the bed's built. She's fixing my screens. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I don't have a husband anymore, but you know what? I have a household, and I have a community, and God willing, my bills are paid. Thank you. Yeah.